Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the Xiaomi Mi Pad 3. This is the first Xiaomi tablet I've used, and I've been using it on and off for about a week, and I wanted to share my thoughts on it. Now, Gearbest was nice enough to send this along just for me to try out, so it's not a paid review or anything like that, but they did send it along, and this is what it comes with. You've got the Mi Pad, this is actually a champagne color, and then you've got USB-C to USB-A, and then you've got your wall plug. So you've got that simple little setup there, and then you've got a little instruction pamphlet, and it's all in Chinese, basically. But this is a really impressive tablet, not only for what the specs are, but even the price it comes in at. It's only $219.99, so I was really surprised by its price for what you get. So it's already turned on, and I've been using it, like I said. Let me set it down here, and we'll swipe to unlock. And what they've done is they've taken Android 7.0 and then put their own UI on this, but this is a little bit better than most UIs I've seen. It's actually the Mi UI 8.2. Now, this tablet is designed very similarly to an iPad mini, but you get a lot for what $219 will give you with this particular tablet. So you've got a five megapixel forward facing camera with an F 2.0 aperture. You've got a really nice display. This display is 7.9 inches corner to corner. It's 2048 by 1536. It's a QXGA multi-touch screen with 326 pixels per inch. So pretty nice. It looks good. You've got your buttons down here on the bottom. When you tap them, they illuminate and then they go away. Let me flip it over here. And on the back, you've got a 13 megapixel camera with a 2.2 aperture. So pretty nice there. You've got some microphones and things. You've got two speakers on the bottom. You also have micro USB on the bottom here to charge with, and it does not have expandable storage. It does have a headphone jack, but it's got four gigabytes of RAM and it's got 64 gigabytes of internal storage. And then this runs a hexacore processor. So it's got multiple processors. It's got four 1.7 gigahertz Cortex A53 processors, and then it's got two 2.1 gigahertz Cortex A72 processors and they work surprisingly well. They're very, very fast. So let's go into the tablet itself. Now the MIUI is pretty nice. It's probably the closest and smoothest thing I've seen to an iPad for Android. And like I said, it's running Android 7.0. So we've got our notifications. If I open the Play Store, everything's just really quick. It pops open, scrolling is generally smooth most of the time. We can go in and see different apps, and it even tells you 1.7 gigabytes of 4 gigabytes available. That's your RAM. So if I hit this button here, it closes them, and they go away, and everything is nicely animated. That's what I like about this tablet. What you don't get with some Android tablets is everything is not smooth. It, it doesn't move around nicely. This feels really, really smooth in just about everything you do. So let me open the camera and show you that. I'll just move the box behind it here. And you'll see the tablet's pretty good. The camera's not bad. It records video, of course. We can also spin the camera around. We'll wait for it for a second. There we go. And you'll see the camera and myself here. Now the front camera's more for maybe a Skype call, something like that. But it's overall pretty nice, especially for the price. You've got notes built in, and this Mi UI has some pretty nice standard features. So you've got notes, hide notes, create folders. It's showing you how to use it. And I'll, I'll sync that later with my me account, but there's the standard keyboard. You've got your dictation and it's just like you'd expect. It's very much standard stock Android, but with smoothness added really is how it feels in their own uh, icons here. So if I go to the gallery, you'll see there's the, the picture we just took. Everything's nice and smooth. Looks a little blurry right now, but it'll take a moment to clear up. You've also got your updater, contacts, everything you can expect from Android, and everything runs really nice. I ran a Geekbench test on it, and the Geekbench test actually came out, let's see if we have the history here, it actually came out pretty good. So this one I ran today, and these scores are higher than that of and the latest iPad mini, they're also about the same as an iPad Air, iPad Air 2, somewhere in that range as far as speed goes when it comes to the Geekbench scores. Now, 
those don't necessarily mean a whole lot. What means a lot is when you're doing things like playing games. So we'll let this load. And this UI is pretty nice. When you rotate the tablet sideways, you can swipe out here and you get this little circle, which is your kind of home button and these icons pop out and you can go back home and use everything that way, or you can just close it and it goes away. So now we're loading. I had to get through an advertisement that was built in, but it does take a moment to load and frame rates are generally good. They're not incredible, but depending on what level you're on, they do change. You can see a little bit of chop there from time to time, but overall it's pretty good. We'll wait for it to load. It's definitely playable and the screen looks really nice, but it is a little bit reflective. You can see, especially when it's, when it's blacked out, it's very reflective and there we go. And you'll see frame rates are generally pretty good. So if I swipe out here, I can hit this button and go home. And this UI has this little button built in, like I said before, and you can see it a little bit better here. You can lock, go into your task or your app switcher and like I said, everything is super smooth. Now, other things that this does not have is GPS. So there is no GPS built in and it doesn't have cellular or expandable storage either, but it does have Wi-Fi and it has A, B, G, N, and AC. It has Bluetooth 4.0 and it's pretty good as far as everything goes. Now, the other thing it has is an FM radio. So it's pretty unique that way. And the battery will get you through at least 10 hours of video playback up to about 13 when you're using it from day to day. So you could get 12 hours, 10 hours to 12 hours. It just depends. It's a 6,600 milliamp hour battery and it charges in three to four hours if it was empty. Now let's go to the, one of my videos here. So this is my video on the Microsoft keyboard. Let me turn the speakers up. Oops, I turned it off, but it's generally pretty loud, as you can hear. It sounds pretty good, and we'll go back home, and it sounds pretty good. They go loud and clear, but they're not super loud. They never seem to distort, really. They're, there's not really an issue there. It's pretty high-quality speakers, but you don't get stereo across the device. You just have the basic two speakers on the bottom, but they're pretty good, like I said. So as far as an Android tablet is concerned, this is probably one of the better mini tablets I've used, especially for the just over $200 price tag. Now, GearBest is where you can pick one of these up in this champagne color. You can pick it up. I'll leave a link in the description below. I think it's pretty nice, especially for what it is. I was surprised. I didn't expect it to be that good. And this actual overlay or skin that they have on Android is quite nice. I, I generally am a purist when it comes to that, but overall it's working pretty good. Let's go to YouTube and you'll see it feels fast, fluid when you load YouTube. Uh, switching through apps is quick and clean and all of their apps that are built in are nice, but you can download the Google ones if you'd rather have those as well. So you have their mail app and their clock app. Everything's really nice. So they've done a good job here with the me UI. Of course you could probably flash it with something different if you wanted to. Let me know what you think about the Xiaomi Mi Pad 3 in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.